Hello, good afternoon. The South East Coast Ambulance Service has been downgraded by the health watchdog because it's struggling to respond to emergencies. The trust is now rated as requiring improvement after an inspection by the Care Quality Commission in August. It found the service wasn't always meeting national targets for response times and often there were no ambulances to attend to high-risk patients. The report also described staff as feeling exhausted and burnt out, but did say that the care provided by CCAM was good and staff treated their patients with compassion and kindness. Health experts say the problems are a nationwide issue. The ambulances are getting it in the neck because the hospitals are chock-a-block. They can't discharge people from the wards and that means the ambulance service can't offload their patients. That causes a backup delays in the 999 system and that's what they've been downgraded for and frankly it's not their fault. Well our reporter Lucinda Adam is with me now. Lucinda if it's not CCAM's fault then whose is it? Well I think everyone can agree this morning that it's certainly not the staff's fault. In fact the report itself said that frontline staff are doing their utmost to provide safe and effective care but the report highlighted the additional pressures on them. There's a high rate of staff sickness and increased delays at handovers at hospitals because the system is buckling the hospitals and social care are full. Now a few moments ago we spoke to Maria Caulfield the MP for Lewis. She was also a health minister under Liz Truss's government. Some of the measures that were put in to support the ambulance uh, staff, such as the St John's ambulance contract, to be able to deliver and meet some of the, the lower category calls, has built in some resilience. Um, and I'm hoping that we can support them further because really they're the, they're the, the kind of the, the, the strength of the service. If you don't have the staff, then the, the service simply can't exist. Well, this report comes just four months after another CQC report found bullying and harassment at CCAM. Today, they've said an improvement plan is in place. They're learning from incidents. They're further recruiting and trying to retain staff better and trying to reduce those hospital delays. They also said that they take concerns about the culture and leadership at CCAM extremely seriously. Lucinda, thank you.